Hi, my name's Jared. Um, we're currently working on a free-to-play mobile game for iOS and Android, and it's setting in, uh, in a future post-climate change, so humanity fucked up a little, we didn't react fast enough and climate change hit us. Um, before that, there was a space station built with clones in cryogenic sleep to repopulate Earth in case everything goes down. But humanity survived, the space station didn't get that. Um, now the remaining people hack the space station and shooting down clones to help them with rebuilding, hence the name Rebuilders. And each of those clones is a player. So you can create your own character, completely customizable, and you create your own vehicles. And the characters are your crew members for your vehicles. The name vehicles and not cars is because you can find later on um, balloons or airplane parts, turbines and stuff like that, so you can fly, jump, whatever. So you really create your own stuff, you create your own base as well, which will be a tower defense mode. And with your vehicles, then you can play in a mobile, real-time multiplayer with your friends and um, gain levels, find new items that you can stick onto your vehicles, and uh, every item gives you new skills and abilities. And with your friends, that you, you also can create a guild and a guild base later on, post-release probably. And you try to accelerate your base from, away from coal and oil and in the direction of sustainable energy. So there is a meta level to the game where we want to kind of influence, not in your face, but influence the players where they have to think about sustainability and climate change and environmental protection. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of our plan in less than 20 sentences or so. <laughs> So what was your motivation to do an environment-friendly game or focus on that? Uh, it's important for us. Um, I mean, we see the problems if we don't act soon, it's going to be too late. And we just see there's a lot of potential with players and the mass market to influence people. And we also want to do community challenges where we tell people to do something in real life that mm -hmm. they can profit in the app for, for instance. If they take selfies with the trash each day, each day for a week um, to create awareness of how much garbage we produce, uh, they'll get the garbage cannon in game, for instance. Or um, if they plan their holidays with a train instead of a plane, they'll get some other sustainability package in game. So we kind of want to try to um, foremost reach a mass market and try to really create something big with it. And with that motivation and with that community, we want to do something great as well. And also, of course, with the revenue. But yeah, it's another thing. So you mentioned the, a mobile-based uh, gameplay. Uh, what else can we expect from the game? Like some features? There'll be, yeah, there'll be a lot of features, um, but probably post-release, depending on how much budget we can um, get. Uh, for now, it's a tower defense mode, which we also want to do co-op. So um, you have your your base set up and your turrets, which which you um, defend your base, and you can also use your vehicle and your character in your base to help your defense, and another player can join you to help you as well. And so those two game modes are going to be the release candidate for all, we, for all intents and purposes for now. Mm -hmm. Later on we intend to create some kind of small campaign with a little story element where we can further focus on the sustainability aspects mm -hmm. um, that you can play with your characters. And as I said, you can also find other crew members and characters, maybe legendary characters where we can implement influencers um, that think the game's great and we can add them as a character. And so yeah, game modes are kind of um, unlimited. Of course, we're thinking about going mainstream and doing something like uh, a royal thing, but we don't see uh, we don't see it yet. But yeah, sounds good. Eh? I mean, it's it's you, you, we can expand almost limitless. Uh. I think last year uh, you did something with the community or the people here at Reverse um, with designing your own parts for yeah, the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, did you already imp implement some of them? Or? Uh, yes, but to be honest, um, we already had those ideas as well. <laughs> so, but yeah, there, there are some we haven't implemented some of the very uh, out there ideas. But mm. there are some fun things I can even. I don't know if anybody can see this, but this would be a, a milk gun with a cow that's shooting milk from her others. And so, yeah, you can imagine what came out of it, but it's great. Um, so we had almost like uh, more than 150 submissions and some awesome. of them will be implemented because there are some of those ideas we didn't have. But yeah, since we're still pre-alpha, we only have like about 10 items or so. So there are going to be a lot of them in there. So since it's a mobile game, um, maybe 
Do you get any plans for the future when you launch the game? Is it going to be free to play or premium app? Yeah, or it's going to be free to play within the purchases yeah. and also um, incentivized ads. So there'll be the propaganda panda, and you can <laughs> click the propaganda panda, and he'll show you ads, and you can gain stuff from for the game in, inside there. Okay. And with that, we also want to create a free ad space for organizations that we like, mm -hmm. um, especially focusing on, on um, sustainability or, or environmental protection, for instance, the Sea Shepherd team. Yeah. Um, we already talked to them but we have to kind of figure out how we can use the logo and um, it's going to be a process a little bit but then we can make uh, items for them and free ad space in, in the ad so you, they just can um, commercialize our game a little and sometimes for organizations, organizations like that we can have in implement branded items mm -hmm. uh, like for the seizure but maybe it's a whistle that you can click and it'll plop a whale into the game and uh, it has jetpacks and flies off again yeah. Um, yeah, things like that. So maybe it's final question. What is the, the most exciting part people should look forward uh, for the game like? Well, what, what are you most excited about this project? Uh, a strong community, I hope, and uh, a lot of fun in the game. It's just like, I mean, I, th I assume it'll be the most fun for people with the, let's call it the Lego gene. Um, so because you really create your own stuff and you can put a lot of love in, into the game. Yeah. And so I think we'll be somewhere between end of casual to mid hardcore gamers. Um, so if you only want to click on your screen once, it's not the right game for you. Yeah. But if you want to do two clicks, maybe you can already play it. Yeah, so that's awesome. Fun and community. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the interview. It was great. Thanks for the interview.